Yo, what's up everybody? This is Styles and today I'll be showing you how to whiten teeth using Adobe Premiere Pro. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stay, stay. So let's dive into it. As you can see, I already have the footage in my project bin. And what I'm going to do is click on it and then drag it over. So now that I have my actual footage in the timeline, I'm going to create a adjustment layer. Uh, when the adjustment layer comes up, the settings are for the actual footage that's there. So you want to just click OK. So now we're going to take the adjustment layer and drag it over the top of the footage in the timeline. And you want to make sure that your adjustment layer is highlighted. Now that the adjustment layer is highlighted, what we're going to do is go over to Effect Controls. And we're going to go down to the Effect Opacity. There's a tool called Free Draw Bezier. You click on that. Once you click on that, once you go up to your actual footage, you're going to see a little pin icon. And what I'm going to do here is draw a mask and we're going to do some tracking and keyframing, which is cool for this situation. If you have an artist or uh, an object that's moving, this is what you want to do here. So what we're going to do is draw a circle around her mouth. And that's what we're going to do for this mask in here. Uh, let's go. Okay. So as you can see, a mask going around her mouth. And what we're going to do from there is basically click, click on the little pin icon here and it's going to track the mask which is really cool. So let's do that. Okay. So now that the tracking is done, you can see that it also keyframed it as well. Uh, for me, I only need that much there as for my adjustment layer. The rest, she has her mouth closed, so there's no need to keyframe the part where her mouth is closed. Okay. So the next step from here, what we're going to do is click on the adjustment layer and you want to go over to elementary color. Click on elementary color and go to curves then go down to hue saturation curves and we're going to click on the dropper hue saturation curves hue versus saturation click on the dropper and you're going to click on one of the one of her teeth and as you can see in your graph here you have three pinpoints and what we're doing is bringing down the yellow saturation to where the teeth become white. So we're taking the saturation out and let's see what we come up with. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, that's a little too much. So let's go back up some, about right there, we'll do it. Okay. So as you can see there, her teeth are nice and white and we have this little outlining here from the mask itself. So let's go ahead and do some feathering and I think we're going to go about a hundred and that should make their mouth look more natural. Yeah. Yeah. So 
And that's basically it. It's a really simple process, really simple process. So this is before, that's after. Look at that smile, nice and white, perfect. Let's zoom out and take a look at it again. There she is, that's before, that's after, perfect. So hopefully this has helped someone out there that may have come across a similar problem and didn't know what to do or maybe you went to someone else's video and it was a little more complex. Well, this is really simplified and this will work for anyone who's never done it before. It's very simple. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to, you know, leave constructive criticism or say whatever's on your mind. You know, thank you for taking the time to check me out and hopefully this will help you. Thank you. See you later. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't.